you may be asked a scenario based question let's consider a scenario where a date table contains dates from the 1st of january 2020 to the 31st of december 2022 and the sales table contains data from the 1st of january 2020 to the 30th of november 2022 the sales table is connected to the date table based on the date column with the date table designated as the primary date table marked as a date table the sales table featured a measure called net now an additional measure named sales mtd is created with the formula calculate net dates mtd date of date this newly created measure is displayed on a card visual on a fresh page without filter or slicer the question at hand is which month or for what doing with the sales mtd measure display its value now what happens with these mtd measures dates mtd dates qtd and dates ytd if you don't choose any date on your page is a filter or use a slicer and there is no filter context and row context to supply a date because of the card visual this is why they mention the card visual these functions pick up the last date from the date column used in the function in this case the calendar ends on the 31st of december 2022 it will pick up that month and because it doesn't have sales data it will show you a blank to demonstrate i can show you an example on my power bi desktop Let's look at my date table in Power BI. In my case, I have a slightly different date table, but I can still demonstrate it. Let me adjust my date table to extend up to December 31st, 2020. Now I have data from 2018 to 2020. This means I have two years worth of data. In the scenario given, when there is no filter or slicer, I can check it by creating a table. A table won't consider or filters or slicers. so i can create a table based on the function dates mtd or dates qtd or dates ytd to see what it gives me i'll use dates mtd and use the date from the date table to create this new table for testing as you can see it's only giving me the dates for december 2020 this is what happens when there's no context provided by a row or filter it picks up the last available date from the date column you've specified based on this it calculates its mtd qtd or ytd in this case it will provide data for december 2022 in the scenario the calendar ended in december 2022 so it will provide data for december 2022 however since there's no data for december 2022 in the sales table the measure will display a blank result on the card visual to summarize the dates mtd function considers the last available date in the current context in the absence of any date in the visual or filter it defaults to the last date in the column specified within the function in this case the last date is december 31st 2022 as a result the sales mtd measure will reflect data from the 1st of december to the 31st of december However, since the sales table does not contain data for this particular date range, the measure will display a blank result. I hope this clarifies things for you. So, whenever you encounter such functions, remember whether they use the last date or the first date. Functions like previous use the first date, so don't assume they always take the last date. 